My work this summer at ENS Kashan focused on the fabrication of gold nanostructures and the subsequent characterization of their optical properties and plasmonic effects. Previous work in this lab has involved using a hot plate to thermally anneal a layer of gold into nano islands. This summer, we used a technique known as direct laser writing to produce a thermal annealing effect in the gold. To fabricate the structure, we start by sputtering a layer of gold onto a glass substrate. We then place the sample into a setup using a green continuous wave laser and an objective lens. The tightly focused light heats the gold and causes de-wetting. Various parameters can be altered to change the size and shape of the gold structure and consequently alter its optical properties, including the thickness of the gold layer, the delay time of the laser at each point, the laser's output power, and the periodic spacing of the laser's movement. We then characterize the transmission spectrum of the gold nanostructures using another optical setup, where a light source such as a broadband laser or a halogen lamp was directed through the structure. A spectrometer was used to measure the transmission of the light, first through the structure and second through the surrounding gold layer. The two curves were then normalized to determine the effect of the nanostructure on the transmission of the gold. This is what allowed us to observe a plasmonic effect because a dip in transmission corresponding to a peak in absorption indicates the structure's plasmon resonance frequency. This peak can be shifted in response to changes of the refractive index of the surrounding environment, which occurs, for example, when we cover the gold with a protective layer of photoresist. Being able to control the optical properties of gold nanostructures is useful for applications of data storage, sensors, optical filters, and color printing. Our methods are particularly advantageous for data storage because of the sub-micrometer size of the structures. Finally, our use of a continuous wave laser rather than a femtosecond pulse laser makes our method for nanostructure fabrication simple and cost-effective.